Hey everyone, welcome back to today's video. I'm going to be walking you through my favorite gym wear and gym must-haves of this year going to next year. I'm going to start off strong with my favorite co- Ooh! I'm going to start off strong with my favorite pump covers. I've just been loving this brand called Dark Sport. If you haven't heard of it before, they're just Dark Sport on Instagram. This is the type of brand that when they launch, things sell out really fast. I'm just going to show you. This is probably my favorite one just because of the color. Like it's maroon and it has like the wolf's logo in the front. It doesn't have anything on the back, which I like. I always size up in these. I either wear extra large or a large. But I also, the maroon one I got in an extra large. I got this one in a large just for comparison. This was the first time I actually ordered from them. This is probably my second favorite. I almost wear this one religiously like almost every other day. And I do wash it, just so you know. I don't just wear it and then sweat it and then fold it and then wear it again. Next on the list is shorts. So everybody needs a good mesh short. Everybody needs a good loose training short and um, just like shorts. My go-to for shorts when it comes to the tighter fitting ones, I would say is Alphalete always. I'm ride or die Alphalete. And I always get them in a size small in the 4.5 inch, inch, inch seam, that's what it's called. I always get the Amplify, so this is in the color Mocha. I think they still have it in stock, I'm not sure. I'll have to check. I recently ordered a pair of shorts from Dark Sport as well. These are the Everson Seamless Shorts in the shade Night Marble, Midnight Marble, I believe. These ones, let me tell you, sis. These ones have the Wolves logo on the side, but I do notice that the more that I wore them, they started to stretch out a little, like the logo would stretch out a little. You can't really tell, but in person you can definitely tell. This one also has a three-tier waistband, just like the Amplifies, if you're familiar with the compression. Although the scrunch on this one is a lot more noticeable on the bum, I would say. Amplifies do have a good scrunch but I just feel like these ones are more structured if that makes sense and these ones are softer and it's different like look at this the pattern on there I could definitely go for an extra small but I don't think they even sell extra small moving on to mesh shorts I've recently copped a pair or two of the Anaka power shorts in the colors Casa Azul look how nice these are don't they just give you um island girl vibe when I was trying them on, I noticed that they were a little bit small, especially on the bum area, just for me. The waistband is really, really thick. Like, I can't even describe it. It almost feels... It's just heavy. And I also got this one in Blue Wine. Look at that. So cute. And it just has, like, the logo there. Nothing too fancy. They like to keep it very minimal, which is nice. Next, I want to talk about sweatsuits or tracksuits. Two-piece sweater sets. I'm going to say sweatsuits. Two-piece sweatsuits. I have been living in sweatsuits lately. This is one from White Fox Boutique Volume 3. I don't remember if this one's still in stock, but I got this in the sweater. I also got the sweat. I'm not wearing them right now just because I just washed them. And you'll also notice that look at the pocket. It's in the front. Like, you know it's usually on the side, and then when you wash it, it sticks down, and then you have to push back in. These ones are not like that. And the logo is kind of like a bubble foam logo. I don't know if you can tell, but it sticks out. Here, I'll try to angle it. Yeah. Next, we have gym accessories. My belt, I need to get a new one because it's just too soft on the... The brace, I don't know what it's called, but the part that you like cinch together is just, it's so soft in the back that I'm not really getting any support and it's just not a vibe. And I also have a barbell pad that I got from Amazon probably two years ago that's starting to, uh, like the foam is starting to, what's the word that I'm looking for? Like come together so it's not as padded. Does that make sense? Okay. Anyways, moving on. I recently got these. I just pulled them out, out of my backpack. But I recently just got these hook grips from Amazon. They're from the brand D Moose. I love these hook grips because if you are trying to do RDLs with a barbell 
and you don't want to um, you know those wrist straps you just have to keep turn it and turn it until you run out of strap pretty much and then it takes you forever to do that and then pick it up do your set take it off put it down all that stuff this makes your life so much easier so it comes in a set of two it's very much padded so you don't have to worry about it um, hurting your wrist you can tighten it as much as you want and the good thing about this is that it will lift the weight for you literally this goes on the barbell and my hand little just it, li it just rests there so this is the barbell right it will like hold it <laughs> it'll hold it up for me this is it if you want it this is it finally I want to talk about supplements because I am very picky with my pre-workout and I just recently found one that I absolutely love and it, it is the ghost legend sour watermelon pre-workout isn't she so cute I take two scoops of these I did not know you were supposed to because when you open it up the scoop is pretty big Psych. yeah so shout out to my good friend Darnell for putting me on if you made it this far to today's video thanks so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one peace